Kia ora, and welcome to Wake Up New Zealand. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Lauren. In today's stories, a new crime wave is sweeping through the country in the form of wool and graffiti. Scientists have invented an invisibility cloak and the latest weather update. But first, if you think the world is getting more and more topsy-turvy, it turns out you're right. Builders in Germany have built an upside-down house which rests on its roof. Inside, there are beds screwed into the ceiling, upside-down wardrobes, and an upside-down kitchen, and even an upturned bathroom. We cross now to our reporter, Bethany. Thanks. I'm here with the owner of the house, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. What made you decide to build this house? Well, I saw everybody else's houses the right way around, and so I decided to make mine upside down. Fair enough. What's your favourite thing about living in a house that's completely upside down? Um, when I go to wash my hands, it just makes like the roof um, a water slide. What are some challenges of living in the, in a house in that house? Cooking, because when I flip my pancakes and stuff, it goes on the roof. Um, sleeping, I have to duck my duct tape myself to the bed, and taking a dump. Well, thank you so much for your time. Back to you, Jennifer and Lauren. Now for a story that is truly out of sight. Scientists in Europe have created an invisibility cloak which can hide objects by bending light waves. However, since inventing the invisibility and cloak, scientists have been having trouble finding it. Inventors say, as soon as we put it down somewhere, it just disappears. Hoping to see through the reasons behind the invisibility cloak, here is our reporter Charlotte. Hi, I'm Charlotte and with me is Jennifer, uh, Ashley, the scientist behind the invisibility cloak. So, what has made you want to invent the invisibility cloak? So, um, when I was little, my siblings always used to take my stuff, so I made a prototype of a mini invisibility cloak and I used it to cover up my stuff so no one could take it. Can you show me how the invisibility cloak works? Just like this. <coughs> What do you hope the cloak will be used for? Fighting crime. Well, that makes things clear. Thanks for joining us. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Charlotte. Next up, there's a news, new wave of graffiti crime is covering the country thanks to an underground gang known as the Midnight Knitters, without permission. These woolly criminals are covering tree branches and lampposts with jerseys and scarves in the dead of night. Police say we are stitching together a case, but there is no real pattern to, to these crimes. Thanks, Lauren. I'm Amber Lila, and joining me is a member of the Midnight Knitters Gang. Yo, 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 and thanks for joining us. I have a few questions. First of all, what led you into the dark underworld of knitted graffiti? Well... My grandma, she taught me how to knit when I was little, but she's dead now, but I like to carry on her legacy of knitting. Do you see yourself as a criminal? No. Why not? Because people love knitting. It's colourful and it's warm. Last one. Apart from trees and lampposts, what else would you like to graffiti with your woolen? Probably people. Any people in particular? Probably my family. My siblings, my dad, my mum. Not my grandma, because she's dead, but all my family pretty much. All right. Thanks for your time. Back to you all at the news desk. Well, at least they'll be warm if they get caught and go to jail. Now, let's have a look at the weather up and down the country with Stephanie and Emma. What's in store for us this week? Thanks, Lauren. In Auckland, there'll be a mix of fair conditions and unfair conditions. But those are the conditions and you'll just have to accept them. There will be no weather at all for Hamilton. It's taking a short holiday but is expected to be back for the weekend. Wellington will have another capital day with no wind at all, so keep calm and carry on. Christchurch will be cold and unfriendly until late morning. Then the sun will pop over for a visit. Everybody likes sun. That's all for, from us. Now it's back to the news desk. Thanks, Emma and Stephanie. Finally, it's time for two minutes with Amber Lila, who is talking to an unusual world champion. Over to you, Amber Lila. 
Hello and welcome to Two Minutes with me, Amber Lila. Joining me today are Bethany and Joel, who have just been crowned the world's greatest liars. Hi guys, what are the most outrageous lies you've ever told? Well, mine is that Miss Joe Scamp is my favourite teacher. And yours? That my name is Bethany. Do you lie all the time or is it just when you're competing? We don't lie at all. Never? Never. Never. Are you lying to me right now? No, no. Of course not. No. Sure? Yeah. No. All right. That's all from me. Thanks for joining me. I'm Amber Lila. Back to the news desk. Well, that's all we have for... Well, that's all we have time for. We hope you've enjoyed today's show. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you again next time. Until then, I'm Lauren. And I'm Jennifer for Wake Up New Zealand. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you.